Treating High Cholesterol 7 Nutritional Steps Has your doctor told you that you have high cholesterol? Even if you start taking medication, you must also change your lifestyle and nutrition to treat high cholesterol and prevent heart disease. The Difference Between Good and Bad Cholesterol The body needs a small amount of cholesterol in order to function, but it is likely that you are consuming an excessive amount of saturated fat and cholesterol in your diet. These two factors lead to an increase in the level of bad cholesterol, LDL, which leads to the accumulation of a layer of fat in the arteries, which causes heart disease. While the good cholesterol, HDL, helps remove bad cholesterol from the blood. Small Steps to Big Changes you can start today by following simple steps that will help you make the difference you need in your health and your cholesterol levels, and these steps include. 1. Start your day with cereal. A meal of oatmeal or whole grains may benefit you during the day. The fiber and sugars in whole grains help you feel full for longer, so you can easily cut back on fat. In addition, whole grains help treat high bad cholesterol. You can eat whole grains such as whole rice and others. 2. Fill the plate with foods that are good for heart health. Reduce the amount of food in each meal, do not eat meals larger than the size of your fist, put more fruits and vegetables on the plate at each meal to reduce bad cholesterol. The antioxidants in fruits and vegetables help lower cholesterol, and eating healthy food reduces the fats that enter our bodies every day. Correct nutrition to prevent heart disease includes eating fish twice a week, at least, as fish is rich in omega-3, which helps reduce the level of fatty acids in the blood and treat high cholesterol. The best types of fish are, salmon, tuna, and sardines. 3. Eat nuts for your heart health. If you want to have a snack, you can eat a handful of walnuts, as walnuts are rich in healthy fats that lower bad cholesterol without harming good cholesterol. Some research has shown that people who eat a handful of walnuts a day are less likely to develop heart disease. However, walnuts are rich in fat and calories, so it is advised not to eat more than one handful a day, and it is preferable not to eat nuts coated with chocolate or sugar. 4. Unsaturated fats protect the heart. Our bodies need fats in our daily nutrition, at a rate of 25% to 35% of the total calories we consume, but the difference lies in the type of these fats. Unsaturated fats, found in canola oil or olive oil, for example, help treat high bad cholesterol and raise good cholesterol. As for saturated fats, which are found in butter, for example, and trans fats, these raise the level of bad cholesterol as well as good fats rich in calories, so it is preferable not to overconsume them. 5. More legumes, less potatoes. The body needs sugars to be able to produce energy, but some sugars are more beneficial to the body than others. Whole grains, such as whole rice, quinoa, whole wheat pasta and beans, are higher in fiber and only slightly raise blood sugar. Other sugars, such as those found in white bread, potatoes, and rice, cause your blood sugar level to rise rapidly, so it leads to feelings of hunger after a short period of time. Also, refrain, as much as possible, from eating fried foods. 6. Move your body. Even just half an hour of exercise a day, five days a week, can help treat high bad cholesterol and raise good cholesterol. Exercising helps maintain the desired weight and reduces the risk of clogged arteries. There is no need to exercise for 30 continuous minutes, you can distribute the exercises into 10-minute intervals. 7. Walking If you are not used to doing sports or you don't like going to the gym, you should do walking, it is easy and healthy, and all you need is comfortable shoes. Walking reduces the risk of stroke and heart disease, helps reduce weight and strengthens bones. Start walking short distances and then gradually increase the distance each time. Thanks for watching.